Welcome to the eight another milestone of Homes Gate Interior. Today we are in the Aleppo Western Heights, and this house belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Avinash Mohan. This is a completely a holiday home that we have designed for them. They are abroad and they are coming here only for the holidays. So we have designed this home for them for a holiday stay. So coming and entering into the foyer area, the foyer is designed with the pillars, the glass rods, with the shoe rack. So this glass rod acts as a partition between the foyer and the dining area. Coming inside the dining area and the living room, as usual in all DLF houses, we don't have a separation between the dining and the living room. So in the dining and the living room, we have also not partitioned it. We have taken it as a complete single room. So coming to the TV unit here, the TV unit we have played with three different concepts. The deco light. If you see the deco light inside the light, this is an imported material. It, it glitters almost like a like something you have put a glitter paste on it. So, but this is a natural stone kind of material. We have made a wooden paneling with the boxes beneath. Even that, it, we have played with the three concepts of the deco light, the wooden paneling, and the glossy one in it. So, the panel is made of the wooden paneling. The rest of the areas where you can keep the artifacts or uh, artifacts are all with the deco light, and then the platform and the cabinets are made with the glossy laminate and to make a contrast of the interior room we have used a digital curtain where all the florals are highlighted in the curtain with a very beautiful hand embroidery on the sheer curtain and then coming to the next part of the living room where the main seater is involved we have made a l-shaped sofa with big cushions and a, and a matching um, tea table over here also to highlight the lights over there we have used a very beautiful painting here with a, the Shiva and Parvati and also a Ganesha brass embedded to it. Similarly to the entry of this room, we have also given a beautiful tree in which a Buddha face is embedded to it. So the entry and living room, the concept is more of a more of a contemporary mix, uh, beautiful uh, uh, new theme of deco light, the wooden and the uh, and the glossy laminates involved in this. Coming to the dining area of the house, we have also played the same concept here, where we have made a mirror over here, with where also they can keep lot of art artifacts under this. In the, the mirror frames are again made with the deco light and highlights with the glitter all over the deco light here. And then on the back side of the deco light wall and then the dining table behind, we have given again a beautiful lighting with a beautiful painting over here. And all the paintings, the, the Ganesha, this is also a Ganesha and this is a Parvati face where we have embroidered all brass stack, brass motifs on all the paintings. When coming to the dining table, the dining table speciality here is the chair level is on the level of the dining table. This is a new concept where we have designed the dining table particularly for this, uh, this particular house where you don't see the, the dining table chairs raised to the level of a person. It's on the level of the table which makes the room look bigger and then the high dining table is not highlighted. To pull the dining table we have also given a beautiful rounds where you can pull the dining table using these small holes and then push it back using those holes. This holds acts as a design also for the chair, back side of the chair. And the cushions used, the back of this, all this adds beauty to the sitting position of the dining table. Also, we can add some pebbles to it. And it's a six-seater big dining table. Highlighting about the fall ceiling of the house, we have used a contemporary fall ceiling. So the uh, we didn't play with two different concepts on the fall ceiling. We have used a beautiful square and then a oval and then the fan is sitting on the oval. Similarly on the living room side, we have designed the fall ceiling in such a way that we have the, the bigger square and then the oval sitting on the fan. And then the whole living room is highlighted with a co-light. And the whole living room we have designed it with a co-light using the periphery and the borders. So the living room was very beautifully designed with a lot of new concepts 
and then the each and every material which is used in this room highlights the beauty of the room. Coming to the next part of the house, that is the uh, kitchen of this house. Kitchen of this house is very interesting. There we have played with a new color here. The new color is the mustard color. So the granite top that we have made is a mustard granite top. With a, we have used a frosty white with a mustard uh, laminate. It's a high glossy laminate. And also the tiles that we have used, we have used a multicolored tile where it's a we have we have the grey color, the yellow motifs, the red motifs, the borders. Multicolor plays very well in this concept. We didn't want to use only yellow or we didn't want to use only grey to highlight the tiles. We used the multicolored tiles which highlights the entire backsplash of the kitchen. So the mustard tiles with the grey granite uh, which is having the glitters all over the uh, all over the it's uh, totally highlighted and looks very beautiful with the color combination that we have made in the cabinets we have not given more of yellow or the mustard because the granite is already mustard and it's very much highlighting the kitchen so we didn't want to use more of mustard in the kitchen all over so we used more of frosting in the kitchen also, we have used a dishwasher here, an inbuilt, inbuilt dishwasher. X, the place is very small. We have accommodated all the appliances here. The dustbin cabinets, the detergent cabinet, the inbuilt dishwasher here. It's a Bosch made one. We have beautifully made it in such a way it doesn't look anything odd outside. And then the, the regular trays over here, the cutlery, cup and sauce, the dali, bottle, the big racks, small racks. The main kitchen zone, the cooking zone of the house, the chimney, the inbuilt microwave with the tall unit. Everything is designed and everything is accommodated in this kitchen so that the client doesn't feel, though this kitchen is small, they don't have their appliances to use. They don't miss any appliances. Also, we have got a small fridge for them. Since it's a holiday home, they don't want an extensive fridge. So, we have got a small fridge for them. Coming to the next part of the house, which is uh, which is leading to the uh, master or the child bedroom of the house. This is the lobby of the house. So the lobby we have designed it using a very beautiful, um, beautiful uh, shelves. Look, this is a shell for a multi multi cabinet where you can you can place your artifacts in different. Uh, directions in different ways so you you can play small artifacts the bigger ones over here so it's a complete show cabinet which is which we have placed in the lobby so when you enter and leave the lobby the lobby looks really good with this design coming to the master bedroom of the house the very interesting thing in this house is it's a basically a three bedroom house so what we have done over here is we have broken the wall between the two rooms and then made it a two bedroom house. So we made the master bedroom of the house really big in making uh, in a, in a, this is this was actually a wall that we broke it into that we broke it and we made these beams without stone cladding. So it doesn't look as such we have done something uh, uh, something different. This beam acts as a wall cladding and then we, we have removed the complete wall so that the master bedroom looks really big. Coming to the main, main part of the master bedroom, this is the bed. The bed is designed by us. The client wanted a very big bed and the design of the bed should look a little different from the normal beds. So we have given the complete headboard with a long panel and then a sitting place where you can sit. When you don't want to really sit in the bed, you can have a separate sitting place and the bed area and the side tables over there. And then the curtain is also designed in such a way that it matches along with the complete uh, room concept. The room concept is designed using the wall cladding, the brown and the beige color. So the, the painting that we have done, the wall cladding that we have used, the colors that we have used in the bed, the, uh, again in the uh, curtains, everything go well with the concept of the room. And we, on the other part of the room, we have used, we have made the wardrobe. So the wardrobe is a simple photo wardrobe. And then we have given a small lighting area to keep a tablecloth over here. And then it's a beautiful photo wardrobe. And then coming to the other part of this room, this is the dressing area of the house. 
and then you you we have made the border of this uh, mirror using the wall cladding again. So the mirror looks like it's embedded inside the stone, and we also have given a cabinets for storage, few drawers and cabinets for the storage. So the the entire theme of the room looks really beautiful. This since we have divide made the room really big, and then the client also wanted a very big room for since they don't want the master to room to be really small. So since it's a holiday home, they didn't want three bedroom house here. So they have, they can happily enjoy with a very big room over here. The stone cladding also is a special stone cladding where lot of motifs are involved in the stone cladding, like the leaf motifs in different way. So it's a in a, every to every cladding you will see some of the other motifs, leaf motifs on this. So this also adds the beauty to the wall cladding over here. And then coming to the next part of the house. Again, the kids zone of the house, that is the kids bedroom here. The kids bedroom is designed using a pinky pinky concept. Entering into the pink zone of this house, that is the children room of the house. Children room of the house is designed in such a way using the pink, the grey, the dark pink and a uh, and lot of... Uh, Lot of lighting and the fall ceiling, the fans, everything is designed using the pink and the grey concept. Even the doors in this room, all the doors, every, every, every single thing that we have used in this house, in this particular room is using the pinky pinky concept. So when you enter the room, I, I, the, I, we didn't want such a plain wardrobe here. So we made a lot of shelves here. The cabinets we can put a lot of uh, beautiful artifacts or kids toys here so that when a kid enters they really enjoy seeing this coming entering into the room you see the bed here the bed is really designed well using a, a pink color headboard with a gray color uh, uh, fabric the fabric is embedded inside the bed headboard and then one part of the bed is designed using the fabric and the other using the lining Again, we have given a long sitting place when the, when when people don't want to sit in the bed and they can there and a lot of other people can sit and talk and accommodate get accommodated in the spare space over here. And then we have coming to the butterfly design there. We have nicely did the did a wall fashion using the butterfly and then see the fall ceiling. The fall ceiling is very beautiful using a curved shapes with a leaf design. So. The client and the, the kids have a lot of interesting things to enjoy here. When you enter the small wraps over here, then slightly entering they see the bed. The bed is beautifully designed like this. The butterflies, the curved shape, fall ceiling, their fan. The fan is very beautiful. And then the curtain again, we have used the very dark pink butterflies in the curtain which really highlights the beauty of the room. And then coming to the wardrobe, the wardrobe is designed